All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the basic shapes that you have in your library. And this is just for having the program of EasyCut Studio. These are all included with it, so no extra money is needed. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, in order to view your library, if you don't see it on your screen already, it's right here. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the, the book that says library, and this window will pop up you're going to notice that there's some folders within this library folder here that you can click on and it's going to change the view uh, that you see of the thumbnails because there are there are organized based upon category within the library now how do you get it onto your mat say for example you needed this heart on the mat you can actually click on the heart and it is now there you can size it do whatever you want with it uh, because now you are able to work with it the other way to get something on there is to drag and drop. So if I left click hold, drag it to the mat, it is now there. Now keep in mind when you're seeing multiple colors on here, uh, you know, and you're trying to get the yellow here, the center of the flower, uh, you're going to have to ungroup it. If you don't remember how to do that, it's a simple click on the shape, right click, and then ungroup. Or, of course, you can always go to the object menu up here and click on ungroup as well. So that will allow you to move uh, the different colored shapes that are on there. Now, another uh, you know, important thing on here is the, the filter, the search. So say, for example, I wanted a, a baby rattle. I type in rattle, and there it is, and now I can use it in my project and and move it wherever I want. All right, so uh, the search feature is there for you. You also have the thumbnail view as well as the detailed view. And if uh, the thumbnails are a little too small, you do have this slider available to you. You can go ahead and slide it all the way to the right. You can sort of see that the icons do change. And if you're not sure what, uh, you know, what something is called uh, for future use, uh, if you hover over the shape, you can see that text that's changing right underneath the detailed and thumbnail view. It tells you what the shape is called. So now that is the library. Like I said, all these are built in to the program of EasyCut Studio. They're for you to use uh, for your projects.